I'm trying to be as casual as possible with this video, but I'm wearing all my clothes, like with shoes on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, be personable, but I got skinny jeans on and some rain boots. And a long sleeve shirt with a hood. It has a hoodie, guys. <laughs> Welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be going over length retention, how I retained this much length in four years. A lot of you requested it. Let me stop. Like, I got a whole bunch of, you know, followers and subscribers. But, uh, you know, like a decent amount of y'all. Let me stop. A decent amount of y'all wanted to know um, length retention. So, um... Let's get a little cozy. <laughs> so, so weird. I should take my shoes off, but you don't want to see my dog. So the first thing I don't have, I don't have a lot. I really try to think real hard. Like for real, I was like, only got four. Keep your hair moisturized. This is a big thing. Um, you really want to keep your your ends moisturized more more so than like your roots. Okay, that sounds bad. You want to keep your whole hair like moisturized from root to tip. But you really want to focus on your ends because at the end of the day, that is the oldest part of your hair shaft. Because just think about it, like your new growth, and then it grows all the way out here. So these ends need to be taken care of a lot more than your roots. Uh, and that's why a lot of people like to do protective hairstyles. Um, I don't necessarily... My go-to thing is in a protective hairstyle. My, my go-to thing is a wash and go and go out the door. I love to have my hair out and it's been like that for the majority of my, my hair journey. I really never uh, like relied on protective hairstyles to get me length. Um, I mean, they're fun to like switch up and if you feel like you uh, need it as far as like if you're, if there's a lot of breakage going on, all that good stuff, then you should, you know, go with protective hairstyles. You should go with braids, you should go with weaves do you boo but you really want to make sure your hair is moisturized deep condition at least once a week i do mine on sundays i try to do mine on sundays um you know i do like a wash and a deep condition once a week and then um throughout the week probably two to three times a week i do a co-wash so keep your hair moisturized get it okay here's another one and another one they don't want you to know they don't want you to know the secrets for length retention they don't want you to hear it I feel like that's cool to say now like I just don't I don't think I use it correctly they don't want you to know for a long time I didn't know what the people were talking about I'm like keys what are you talking about and then I saw him DJ Khaled say and I was like okay that makes sense now number two so watch out for trimming your hair too often here we go here we go here we go Susie's hair grows only a half an inch every month okay but she goes to the hair salon and gets her hair trimmed every, uh, she gets three quarters of an inch chopped off. So she's in the negative quarter of an inch, right? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. She's in the negative. So she's cutting off more hair than she's growing. If you are at a state where all of your hair is natural, like all of it's like damage free, like you're not transitioning, then you shouldn't be cutting off more hair than your hair grows. So this is a process before you start, you know, because I guess it's a, you know, it's a big deal to go get your hair trimmed. I really don't get my hair trimmed, I know. If they don't feel nasty, like I look for split ends, they're not there. So I'm chilling. And I feel like it looks healthy. It looks healthy. It feels healthy. But you need to monitor how, I know it's a little tedious, but if you really want to retain that length, you need to be watching out for stuff like this, like how fast your hair grows. So you don't, you know, go every six weeks or whatever and you get more hair cut off than you grow. See what I'm saying? Like it makes sense in my mind. It makes sense guys. Try to, um, if you find something that you like, just stick with it. You know, I heard like myth, uh, a lot of hair natural myths, like if you stick with the product, it's gonna stop working on your hair. You know, you're gonna um, experience hair stunts, hair growth stunts. Um, and I've literally been using Shea Moisture for the majority of my um, natural hair. It's my sister. My hotline is blinging. What up, girl? <laughs> I'm recording. 
She cute, y'all. Y'all, I'm gonna link her Instagram down below. She real cute. My sister's really cute. All right, let me call your back, okay? Give me like, give me like five minutes. Okay. Where was I? So I've been using Shea Moisture for the majority of my um, natural hair journey. I don't think I've had a stunt in my growth at all. I think the only thing that I've been like messing around with during my journey is my shampoo. But for like the past year and a half, year and a half to two years, uh, I've been using um, Shea Moisture like shampoo. And I feel like my hair has been consistently growing and it's still growing. When Once you find something that you like and your hair likes, girls stick with it i mean of course if you feel you know like oh you know it's not working just like switch up like the amount of times you do it or like how often or like maybe not do it on the exact same days every week you know just try that instead of you know go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff but if you saw results at one point maybe it's not the product maybe it's how much you're using maybe you know it's the frequency that you are using it maybe you're too consistent with it so just you know style step so that's what i do like when i do co-washes i never in my mind, I maybe subconsciously I co-wash on the same days, but I don't think I don't think I I don't be like ooh today is co-wash. I think the only thing I do is like deep condition. Um, I try to do it on Sundays because of course it's the start of a new week, so you just want to refresh your whole body. Refresh. Who know that commercial? Refresh. So um, was the hair flip necessary? God Jesus. So another one is reduce heat. All right, guys. Okay. So this is for this is for those. Mm, okay, this is tough. This is what I've done. This is this is exactly what I've done. I've seen a lot of people who have natural hair, um, and they straighten your hair. They straighten their hair frequently, and it still looks good. But for me, I felt like my hair was so damaged with straightening my hair. There was no way I was gonna start straightening my hair again on a regular basis. Cause I'm like, okay, I literally cut off all my hair because I had heat damage. So why am I gonna do that to my hair again? You know what I'm saying? I annually do it. Like I feel like. Um, it's about that time. Like I literally only straighten my hair once once a year in December. I feel like I'm late. I'm late this year to straighten my hair because A, I don't have a straightener. B, I don't have a flat iron. I don't own one anymore. So whatever. Between that and like coloring. So I stopped coloring my hair too. Like this right here at the ends, that's like from when I had my hair like super short, like in the beginning. Um, if you see my natural hair journey video, there's, um, I'll link it below, but I had like a really short haircut and then it was like blonde or like I had color in my hair for like a second. So make sure like, you know, make sure you're using the proper heat for a second. Uh, make sure you do a deep condition like before and after you straighten your hair. You just need to make sure you, and that goes back to number one, making sure you, you know, keep that moisture in your hair. Breaks off and then you're like, no, as it's falling on the ground, no. So you don't want that. You don't want that. Mm -mm. That's really honestly all I got. I'm sure people are going to be like, is that it? <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. Like, I don't have any, like, magical. I don't have anything for you guys, really. Like, this is exactly what I've done. And it feels like it works for me. I don't really mess with my hair um, until I have to. And that's, like, when I'm washing my hair if I want to do something different to my hair which is like never so I just let it I let it do its thing and I feel like people just all up in your hair girl I made you want to girl get out your hair let it do its thing I know I know it's tough especially in the beginning when you're like yeah you know like what's going on I want my hair to grow like what do I do what do I do honestly girl all I gotta say is let it grow let it grow Hopefully that helped. But <laughs> that's all I got. <clears throat> Knowledge nuggets. Mm. I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye. Let me call my sister back.